Hi, I'm Conrad with Imtra, and today we're going to go through the steps to mounting and assembling a Sleipner side power thruster. Please remember, this is just a visual aid, and if you're ever actually installing a thruster, please consult the installation manual that goes with the thruster you're installing. The first step is to mark the tunnel where you need to drill the holes for the gear leg using the template supplied with the tunnel tool. Simply line the center of the template up with the center line of the tunnel, hold it firmly in place so it doesn't slide, and mark the spots where you'll need to drill. Once the tunnel is marked, draw the larger center hole for the gear leg shaft, followed by the two smaller holes for the bolts that secure the gear leg in place. The sizes of these holes will vary based on thruster model. For exact measurements, please consult the installation manual. Next, you'll align the motor bracket with the drilled holes on the tunnel and insert the bolt plate for the gear leg to be bolted onto. Then you'll apply a marine grade sealant to both sides of the gear leg gasket and line it up with the shaft and bolt holes on the gear leg. Now it's time to insert the gear leg shaft into the larger center hole, align the bolt holes, and secure it into place with the supplied hex head bolts. Then install the coupler onto the gear leg, lining the ridge on the bottom of the coupler up with the slot on the top of the gear leg shaft. Similarly, the groove on the top of the coupler will align with the drive pin on the motor shaft. Before dropping the motor into place, remove the front solenoid cover to allow easier access to the front corner screw holes. Then, align the slot on the coupler with the drive pin in the motor shaft and drop the motor into place before securing it with the four supplied Allen head screws. Once securely in place, reinstall the solenoid cover. To install the propeller on the gear leg, you'll simply line up the slot on the back of the propeller with the propeller drive pin that is pre-installed in the propeller shaft, and then you'll secure it in place using a washer and a lock nut. On a single propeller unit, models SE25 through SE60, the propeller should be installed facing the starboard side of the boat. On all of the twin propeller units, the gear leg is marked on one side with a P and an S, for port and starboard. And if you have counter-rotating props, which means the props are left-handed and right-handed, which would be every model from an SE-170 and larger, be sure to install the left-hand prop on the port side and the right-hand prop on the starboard side. Now it's time to plug the motor into the wiring harness that runs to the control at the helm. This is a four-pin quick connect that only aligns one way. Simply align the ridge on one connector with the slot on the other and plug the two connectors together. To install the joystick, you'll use a 2-inch hole saw for the cutout and four small screws in the corners will secure it in place. Simply plug the wiring harness into the joystick the same way you did on the motor. And drop the joystick into the cutout hole. Then secure the four screws in the corners and cover them with the supplied corner covers for a nice clean look at your helm station. If you have any questions or would like any additional information, please don't hesitate to contact IMTRA. We're happy to help.